Yes, boss. 444, the world back in there again, once again, dog. Happy to be here, happy to see you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You see the topic and what it is that we're talking about, right? Stay away from people who love attention, right? Now, I had this topic sizzling in my listings for like over five months, and I was like, yo, I didn't speak about this stuff? This is crazy. Let me go ahead and put this out, right? So here's the deal. The games that you see played in life is a form of high level chess. I'm pretty sure everybody has heard me say that before, right? Now, high level chess is a move that you do not see that when it hits you, it's gonna be silent but deadly. So I'm gonna give you an example, right? With the proper development being played with, uh, it should be a parent, two parents in the household raising their children, right? That's a, a more a move of high level chess. The father not being in the home. So we're going to have the government step in to replace the father. You get what I'm saying? That's a form of chess. A child needs a mother and a father. A two-parent household to help bring them up in that way that they need to be brought up, right? Full, full development. It takes a village to raise a child, right? Now, with some kids being brought up into the world and didn't have both parents or if they did have their parents or may have had one parent they didn't receive a lot of attention as a child right now when you don't receive attention as a child that's not good and that's the parents fault right reason being is because if you brought a child into the world a child needs love care attention everything to help build them up because if you don't provide that you leave a hole or a gap that needs to be filled, right? Remember I just told you about high level chess and the moves that are made. What some people don't realize is social media is a form of a high level chess to help fill that void, that gap. I'm gonna tell you why. As I did state, you need proper development, two parents in a household, right? Now, because some people never had that, or it never got the proper attention, they realize, yo, I could get that off of social media. But here's a famous saying that a lot of people don't know, and it flew over a lot of people's head. Not all attention is good attention, right? Reason being is this. You can get attention for being bad. You can get attention for being good. You can get attention for a multitude of reasons but you have to understand that not not all attention is good at uh, good attention just like not all money is good money you feel me so when you look at social media I'm gonna break it down for the male side and for the woman side right for the men right in order for you to be seen on social media or get some status or attention here's what you're gonna need to post and this is so weird right you're going to need to post up your body and how you look, right? Your jewelry, your, your, your swag, right? Money, if you got it like that, right? What you got? You got a crib, you got that, you traveling, what you doing? You feel me? Now, here's where it goes next level. There's a lot of dudes who go online and post up with guns. Don't do that. Now, because some people figure, yo... I got a gun that nobody don't got. I want to post it. Here's the deal. There are some guns that are not uh, considered like, like citizen friendly. And there's a lot of people who have these guns that are like military graded guns. And it should not be in the uh, hands of a regular civilian. But people do have access to getting these things. Once you post stuff like that, it puts an eye on you. Like... It's like, yo, we're watching this person now, right? Where did you get this gun? Where did you get this money? Where did you, uh, where, how can you afford this lifestyle? These are questions that are asked, especially if you're not somebody who works or you're not in Uncle Sam's uh, system of, oh, I'm a regular working person or I work. Guess what? That's a high alert flag for you. 
because you were seeking attention, eyes on you now, right? Skip off of the men now. Let's go to the women. Now, women, it's a lot different in a whole nother kind of a way where they take attention and when they give it to women on there, it's on a whole nother level. In order to get attention as a woman on social media, you have to be posting your body, wearing certain skimpy outfits, or showing your curves, your face, all of that, right? Take trips, high life, all of that. Funny part is for women, women don't have to do all of the shit that what men gotta do. If you look good, you got some shape, skin clean, whatever the case may be, you could just throw that up. Oh my gosh, she look good, she look bad, she this, she that. Give you an example, right? There's a girl I went to school with, right? In school, she wasn't the best looking. She had potential. Cool, right? She got older. What they had, what they call it, a glow up, right? This girl started looking good, right? Got thick. You feel me? It's like one of them, yo, the ugly duckling ain't ugly no more, right? This girl start popping off like body all of this chocolate skin all of this tell me why i think I, I looked on her social like somebody showed her social media i'm like dog how this girl got so much followers bro this girl got over 70k and she's not a celebrity dog i was like yo this is crazy and the girl put up something on social media like all these rappers keep sliding in my DMs. These rappers, these rappers, these rappers, these rappers, these celebrities. Here's the deal what people don't realize. Because I've seen it on both ends, right? When you're a woman and you expose yourself on social media, whatever you do, if you're a model, a nurse, or whatever the case may be, these interactions is what bring us regular civilians close to celebrities, even though they're regular people too, but they just have a lot of limelight on them, right? Now, a lot of these females may feel like, yo, this dude likes me or he want to rock with me or whatever. No, it's just a smash and go type of thing because I got status. You should know about me. I'm a rapper. I'm this. I'm that. I play ball for, uh, you know, I, I travel around the world and shit. So this is the thing. The attention you're getting as a woman is never going to be in your favor in the way that you may want it to be, dog. And this is where seeking attention goes that far because some people never had a father. Some people never had a mother. So that's where social media comes into play to help do certain things to throw a wrench into the situation. But here's what makes it so ugly, right? If you pay attention to how much people are being raised in a social media era in a, a social media era versus somebody who was raised like me a 90s baby and yo go outside like we playing kickball nick or not throw up tackle football uh dodgeball whatever the case may be we playing all of that once technology touched down it's like damn all of that outside stuff is a thing of the past it's like we're in a social media era. So there's a lot of people who are brought into this social media era and they bring their kids onto this. And this is crazy as hell. If you're a woman dog, I see women doing this shit a lot, bro. I don't really see men doing this. But if you're a man doing this, dog, listen up closely too, bro. If you're a woman, this is mainly for you as well, dog. If you have children, like kids, not even infant, and you have them a social media profile, delete that shit. I'm going to tell you why, dog. Because there's a lot of pedophiles on these shits. There's a lot of uh, secret, secret, secretive ass people that be on here watching and scoping. Like, there's this girl I seen that popped up on my YouTube. She's from Florida, live in West Palm. She did something where she put fake tattoos on her baby. I don't know if anybody's seen that, right? I think the baby's uh, IG name is Nugget World or Nugget World 561. Yo, this little kid got a bunch of tattoos on him for a photo shoot, right? And it's like the way how she dressing the kid is like he look like he already out here hitting licks. You get what I'm saying? And he's just a baby. Not only that, the kid has a social media. 
she said yo like nugget is a, he's popular he he has to have his uh social media he has to be fly always dripped out i was like dog let me tell you something stuff like that is what raises kids to believe that they're either more than the next person you didn't even literally her doing that is robbing that kid when he gets older of his of his uh childhood because that kid is going to be raised with the spotlight on him the media whatever the case may be you feel me and it ain't even about the tattooing it's the part of the fact that yo you do what you want with your child but the fact of the matter is you raising your child in a way where they already have the attention placed on them instead of them knowing their self it's like you raise them in a false ass world that's not even real in a double kind of a way you get what i'm saying you have to be very careful of that now i'm gonna run into a couple bible verses real quick let's see what we got on the menu for today i got two of them right first one i have for you romans 2 verse 8 but for those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth but obey unrighteous there will be wrath and fury right now stick a pin right there because that goes along with people who uh try to seek attention and stuff like that right now the truth is like this how can i say it you ever had like an adult tell you, yo, this is what you need to do, but you kind of went around them to try and go and ask questions or try and do things your way. And it's like, dog, it doesn't work that way. Obey the truth when somebody tells you, you feel me? That's why when some people don't listen to one set parent or a set guardian, they're going to have to hear the same malarkey from somebody else, but like 10 times harder because you chose not to listen the first time. You're going to pay for that. Now, here's the deal. Unrighteousness, there will be wrath and fury. Okay, some people are used to doing whatever it is that they please. And they don't have to hear the consequences or pay for the consequences. But there's a thing where when you uh, disobey God or just disobey the truth or go off to do things in your way, you're going to, you're going to face the consequences for it. When you seek attention... In an ill-advised way. Here's another one, dog. This is for everybody, dog. Man or woman, don't matter. Never seek validation from somebody else. Seek that from yourself, dog. Yo, am I good enough or am I this? You're literally opening the door for somebody to come and crash down whatever confidence or whatever. Because words are powerful. Words can help you and they can hurt you for real. Words can chop you down like a lumberjack dog and they can build you up like they was bob the builder depending on who you're gonna allow don't seek validation or attention from anybody that's literally giving you the gateway door for somebody to come in and just tell you whatever it is that they want to tell you in order to get what it is that they want to get from you. you know what i'm saying next one i have for you galatians one verse 10 for am i now seeking the approval of man or of god or am i trying to please man if i were still trying to please man i would not be a servant of christ here's the deal social media as i stated set a certain standard i just labeled it for the men and i labeled it for the women when you're not following certain guidelines that will get you attention or get you status or cloud or whatever the case may be it's like uh when you're not following that it's like you're living like a regular lifestyle nothing wrong with that right that's what social media is there for you to make you feel like you're 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 out of pocket like who are you to not have a social media who are you to not want to get down with this good greatness you know what i'm saying that's all in efforts to turn you away from god and the truth I mean, there's so much people who go online and try to seek validation from people who do not give two freaks about them. You should be seeking that from yourself and from God, dog. I'll tell you why. I just stated. You seeking validation from somebody else can leave you open to getting shot down, stabbed, whatever, with the wrong words. And chances are, too, those people could probably see something on the inside of you that they see that they don't have in themselves. And this, you know what? Let me pull out the AK-47 words and just, just shoot them down. You feel me? There's different ways that people can chop you down and take away your confidence 
never seek approval or attention from anybody dog that's like like especially in like in the world seek that from god yo because you doing that you're just gonna send yourself on a trip a place you do not want to be depression sadness all types of things like that don't do that to yourself you feel me no more bible verses but i'm gonna close it off with this right seeking attention is never good bro i'm sorry to anybody who might not have had both parents or had a rough upbringing or you get what i'm saying nobody's perfect but when you seek attention and especially when you seek it in the wrong kind of a way you're gonna end up with wrong results dog. when you do things like that it's never gonna come back to benefit you or help you out in your best benefit it's only gonna harm you bro spend time with yourself there's nothing like spending time with yourself and learning yourself when you spend time with yourself you learn so much about yourself and you can use that and 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 build yourself like example me me being here in this apartment this is my first apartment to myself i've had roommates different roommate situations but this is the first apartment i had to myself since i've been living here i've learned so much about myself in a different kind of way it's not even funny some things that really wowed me and that's where staying to yourself and not seeking it like you get what i'm saying you don't have to go too far to get certain answers the answers isn't really too far from you but when you seek attention from people who don't mean you well seek it in the wrong places instead of going to god that's when you can be led astray right so all in all in this world in this life remember this nobody's perfect we all have issues or something that we go through where we like yo i need an answer so i'm gonna go out here i'm gonna go here but eventually god's gonna bring you right back home to where you need to be you get what i'm saying it's just one of those things where in life we gotta venture out to get the answers but when we get the answers we know where it is that we belong we come right back to where it is that we be uh where we belong which is home so remember this never never ever 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 seek attention especially from the wrong people doing it in the wrong kind of way do things in the right way and you'll always win for that bro i promise you i guarantee you you're not gonna lose bro don't seek attention from people in a wrong way don't expose yourself to get cloud attention or you get what i'm saying there's too much of that like people who seek attention especially for the wrong reasons there's something going on upstairs where they probably feel like they're not good enough or they have to do a lot more just to get the light or the eyes on them or just to get the love you don't really have to do that bro just be yourself be humble dog choose doing right seek god you feel me just do whatever it is that you know you need to do that's gonna help benefit you in the long run and not harm you you get what i'm saying not giving your your best years to the wrong people or not spending your best years doing foolishness or bs you get what i'm saying spend it doing the right things and it's gonna always come back and benefit you in your best benefit you know what i'm saying that being said remember this words can help you they can hurt you but here on my channel i use them to uplift you because everybody on here everybody is a champion you get what i'm saying that being said man listen now it's your boy 440 for the world love you guys it's monday don't work too hard don't overstress yourself you know what i'm saying love you guys peace